Your mother can trust you to pick out a stranger, can't she? No, Mom said not to listen to strangers. You're a stranger, leave me alone! <gasps> Scholastic. That's the book company. Yeah. Well, nostalgia. Oh, snap. Player beware. You're in for a scare. Is this whole game gonna rhyme? No. Okay, guys. Welcome back to the Mr. Mr. Gaming channel. Today, we're gonna be playing Goosebumps. Yes. Like and comment if you have read Goosebumps when you were little. And subscribe if you think the series is awesome. What if they don't think? What if... No. Subscribe anyways. <laughs> we can't give them mixed messages. So right. what was your favorite story for Goosebumps? Oh, um, all right, well, hands, well, no. Probably Night of the, uh, no. Yeah, Night of the Living Dummy with Slappy. That has to be my favorite. Yeah. Because I have a Slappy doll. And if I don't say it's my favorite, he'll appear at night and kill us. Well, that seems comforting. Yeah. Who's that dude? This guy creeps me out. We better get a big tip. If you're that concerned, maybe try not to drop his stuff. Hey, for all we know, the lock got busted before I dropped it. I've heard that before. Whatever, just finish packing up this junk. I'll head back up for the rest. Oh no. Who's hiring a moving company to move out stuff in the middle of the night? Just be glad someone did. We need the job. Why is it going faster? I don't know. We have to read faster. So what about the girl? Should I call her or not? Jesus Christ. The whole move operator, you ain't got a chance. This is for kids, you know? Yeah, it's probably for the best anyway, what with our on-the-road lifestyle. Nice legs, bro. Say, you ever got creeped out driving late at night like he this? Has, he has shaved legs. He's probably yeah, a swimmer. Beautiful. What do you mean? beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it's late. Everyone's asleep. Uh, it's gotta be a slink out from the shadows. And his shirt is kind of tight. This better be not the haunted car again. This guy's really feeling himself. It's real. Real, maybe, but not haunted. Well, it seems to be haunted at the time. He's also kind of cool, you know, with the cap You can't backwards. scare me that story. I already heard it a million times. Well, good. That's not even my hairiest adventure. You see this one, Evil Genie? Listening what? to cool jazz on their way to deliver... Heard that deliver one. Okay, well. How, why is it going so zombies? fast? Zombies? Wait, what? Yes, I told you a lot of these. Do what? you know what's going on? Yes, I've been reading it. We don't gotta talk the whole time, you know. I could listen to something. Oh my god. What? Alright, you need to... What was that? Cliff notes me on all this. We're moving stuff out in the middle of the night, so are you gonna open it? We heard a thing in the what back. What am I supposed to open? The back of the truck, because we put stuff in there. There's a lot of weird stuff in there. That's... That's it? Just open the door already. I don't know if you're talking to me or if you're talking... No, no, we are moving some weird guy's oh, stuff out in the middle of the night. Oh, I see Slappy. And we broke some of his stuff by accident. We're hoping I he doesn't notice. Slappy. I see Slappy. Looks like the new T.O. Horror. Not funny. Oh, there's someone over there. That's not a someone. Leave that dummy alone. What, what is, is it, some, some kid? kid? Oh, no. Oh, snap. Don't call him a kid. He's going to come out I wish I you. had one of these we that are were actually those. wooden. We no, 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 but I want those, a wooden and it's one. It's creepy as hell. I would make one. No. Yeah. No. Oh, snap. We should post a picture of uh, Slappy on Twitter so people can understand, you know, what we have. Yeah, I had him. I got him when I was a little kid. I asked my parents for it. He's kind of creepy. I was a normal kid, I swear. Yeah, sure. Okay. Finally, school's out for the day. And then you got on to me for, you know, like collecting porcelain dolls. Porcelain dolls are creepy as hell. They are beautiful. They're creepy. Slappy is creepy Every, as hell. No, Slappy yes. is has, yes. a, has his charm. You know, he, he gets all the ladies. And Alfred is also super creepy. In the middle of the night, just strangles them. Alfred has scared doll. me multiple times at night before I got used to him when I would just go down at night and I thought someone was in the house. He might be a killer doll. Oh, people don't know who Alfred is. Alfred is our butler. He's a life-size dummy replication of the... We like, got that YouTube money. <laughs> No, we don't. He's a life-size uh, doll. No, he's yeah. He's a he's a mannequin that he's we life -size. we had up. He's a life-size mannequin. He's tall. Of a, of a, like a haunted mansion-ish like butler type for Halloween. We got him and we never took him down. So he's been up for like years now at this point. Now he's just a meme at, at, at our home. He's basically a real-life meme that lives with us. Yeah, but you know when I first came here, I, that that dummy scared me. Because at night, I would go down, and I would just see, like, a life-size shadow of someone creepily standing by the door. I can see how that's creepy. Yeah, it's very creepy. Between that and Slappy moving randomly around the house and not knowing why, that's weird. I don't know. 
I don't move him around that night. Yeah, that's what you keep saying. But it's I probably just Kitty. Him. It's probably just Kitty he's just moving, moving him around. He's been moving from chair to chair, and I know that someone's playing a prank on me, but you know, at this point, I don't care because it's been a few years by now. Yeah, he's just part of the family. Don't even worry about him. As long as you don't look directly at him, what are we doing? Is this like a point and click? Point and click. Apparently. Cool. I don't know if we'll ever escape this place. You know, Let's Goosebumps. Go. Goosebumps had uh, had a series of like interactive books where you read through a, a few pages, and then at the end of uh, at the end of those pages, there's like a option where you can like skip through the book, and like they give you different outcomes. Really? Yeah, they were pretty cool. One of them was actually really scary. I mean, one of them in my you know child, because I was scared of zombies. But I also really liked Resident Evil. So I was scared, but I liked being scared. Are you talking about those pick your ending books? Yeah. I had one of those. Goosebumps? No, it was a different book. Well then, but you're such a nerd. Pretty scary though. Only cool people read Goosebumps. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're a cool person. Are you even paying attention? Hi, Anna, <gasps> it's Mom. Oh, snap, it's interactive. You're in this game. I put my name in at the beginning. Oh, did you? Yes. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> they, they asked what your name was. I typed <laughs> I my was name like, in. Oh, snap, how did they know? Because I told them at the beginning. Wait, who the hell's Chad? I'm not a Chad. You're a Chad. I'm just taking everything. You have to? Did it misspell something? I think it misspelled something. I think it misspelled something. How does a how does a book a book game misspell? You left a few books out. You the it misspelled it twice. What's wrong with that? You left you or you heft. heft? You heft. What the hell is a heft? How do you heft something? When you pick something up that's kind of heavy, heavy, you're like lifting it. Another I mean, word is, is that heft. A thing? Is that a thing? We can look it up right Hold now. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it definitely. You don't is. both have to look it up. One of us can just look it, it up. It feels like it's a thing. I mean, it, it, when a thing has heft in it, then that means it has some weight to it. But I don't think they're using it, right? Heft, lift or carry. Donald hefted another pair of sandbags from the stack. What? Yep, told you. Yeah, you learn something new every day. Yep. There you have it, folks. This is a this is an educational episode. See that? It's bothering Wait, me. Wait, who's the... whose locker is it's this? This is our locker. Pay attention. Why do you have a girl's picture on the locker? But what, what bothers me a little bit is that um, we don't seem to be very good students. Because they're like, look, what little homework you have can easily be done in the minutes before class. What's wrong with that? You can't do that. You have to take your homework home and like finish it at home and everything. Nah, bruh. That would create so much stress in my life. Nah, bruh. I always did my homework in advance. Okay, nerd. <laughs> you know what? Who was laughing five minutes before the class? Not the people that were randomly going around trying to, you know, quickly finish their homework in time. Oh, he forgot his locker combination. Insert key and turn. Okay. He forgot his locker combination, so he proceeded to destroy his locker? Yeah. Just ask a janitor. Don't they have, like, universal keys? I think those universal keys actually open all the lockers at once. Alright, so we're not supposed to go in there because Mrs. Tully said... So you never want. did your homework at the last minute? Never. Really? Nope. Wow. Usually... Why is there a picture up in the ceiling? I'm sorry, I was trying to click on, but they didn't let me. It's like, that's totally normal, apparently, in high school. And why is there a poster that says fight? You can't, you can't advocate for fighting in high school. Well, apparently this high school can. In university, they usually give you the syllabus, and I would complete my homework a few weeks in advance. I mean, in university, I don't know if you can get away with doing stuff at the last minute. I mean, you can get away with maybe doing it between classes. Honestly, I think, I, I, I think homework is, is a waste of time. There were so many people in university that were going and I've always finishing. hated homework. I've gotten good grades throughout my whole, you know, school I don't career. know how to leave here. I was mostly a grade A student. But then, you know, came to a point where I just, you know prioritized different things and didn't really care for much. So then my grades kind of went down, but that's because I, I thought, stupid, I already know this, you know? I was a good kid, though. I don't know how to go in here. I was a good kid, too. Um... You know, except when I wasn't. When were you not a good kid? There were a few times. What did you do? You mean, like, what, like, like school or, like, home or, like, what? Why were you a bad kid? Let's take this paper. Use items, 
Use items on the environment to solve puzzles of progress, okay? We got a piece of crumpled paper. I don't know how to leave this room. How do you, can you, what's with the picture up there? Can you like get I, it somehow? I clicked on it multiple times. And then you can't get it? No, nothing All happens. All right. Well, what about that uh, Charles Xavier, Professor X picture right there? That's our locker. So it uh. just, it just opens our locker. Maybe, just... oh, maybe click on the crumpled paper and see what it says. Look. Hey, you found my note. I hope that you would. Sometimes people see notes in the hall and just assume they're trash. Not you, though. Okay. I mean... I mean, it does kind of look like trash. If that's all it says... That's all it says? It's trash. It's trash. <laughs> when right, I knock on knock the door, on. then the lady's like, leave me alone. Who, who, why is there a lady in there? I don't know. It's her math teacher. She's just, you know, forever alone. Staying... I don't know how to go back out of this place. Mom was like... I left the key underneath the door at the house or something like that. I don't know how to leave. Um, I don't know how to play a point and click game. You point and click? Yeah, I'm clicking on all the stuff. It open. How do I leave? It doesn't do anything. They'll check it out tomorrow. It's home time. And before they said, there was probably some stairs Maybe over there. Maybe you left something in the locker. All right. Um, take. It doesn't let me take it. See? Um, have you checked your phone? What have no. you not done? I've already checked my phone. Why don't you take your your girl picture? It doesn't let me take it, just a sticker that we're tired of. Call. Can you call somebody? Call your mom. Pick me up. Hi, Anna. Did you get my message? Be careful on your way home. You know I don't like you cutting through the woods. Got it. We're going to cut through the woods. But at some point, a mother has to let go. Love you. All right, well. I swear to God, if we go through the woods, we'd be like... Worst child ever. I've gone through woods when they told me not to. Is that why you were a bad child? Yeah, probably one of the reasons. Why would you go through a woods? That's like that's like the plot of every uh, like horror story. They told or... me there were bears in the woods, and I kind of wanted to see a bear that day. Wow. I didn't find any though. That's a kind of dumb reason. Kids, don't go through woods if you think there are bears in there, because if there are bears in there, you don't you can't handle a bear. I did find a possum. Possums what if they are, had rabies? Possums are actually kind of mean. Yeah, they might have rabies. Yeah, I caught a possum one time. I did it. <laughs> I gave it hugs and cuddles. Turned it out, didn't reciprocate. <laughs> turned out um, my dad got mad and... Uh, took Why would you call 411? Thank you for calling information. Due to an unexpected large call volume, all our operators are busy. Hashtag our phone company. God damn it. Please use our automated system to seek out the answer you... you, you. Okay. How do I move? Where is Slappy? Yes. Life can be more fulfilling than pointing with a cursor and selecting options from a drop down. Traveling between areas is a breeze. Oh, you can press right. the hold directional buttons. Which directional buttons? Ugh. Uh, the D pad, maybe? Alright, hang up. D pad. Oh, now it's teaching you. Wow, oh. we have to go through all that? That was a lot. Your phone has a map function, okay? Uh oh, there's ooze. There's green ooze coming out of that trash. It's fine, it's just flubber. I know how to deal with flubber. Flubber? Flubber makes you fly if you can harness its energy. What? Have you not seen the flubber movie? That was the one with uh, Robin Williams, I think, right? No, that's the remake of the flubber movie. The original flubber movie <laughs> is way older. Why can't you just watch mainstream movies? <laughs> Like, no, 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 no. The original one. Like, from the 1920s. Yeah. It's not... Is it really? I don't remember. I think it's... A, no, I think it's, like, the 40s. I don't think it's the 20s. Oh, okay. 40s? <laughs> oh, wow. That's it's more called, hip. Wait, the original one's called The Absent-Minded Professor. Why are you such a hipster sometimes? Flubber is the remake. But I don't the even think Flubber that... Flubber is mentioned in The Absent-Minded Professor. It's a Disney movie, too. Wait. The Absent-Minded Prof Professor? That's, that's a See, recent that's movie. See, it's from 1961. 61? And the sequel was, was it in, in black and white? The sequel was in 63, and then they did the remake with Robin Williams way after. Have you seen any movies past the 60s? Sure. Be like, yeah, I just told you, 1961. Lion King. Exactly. <laughs> and Lion King, I'm pretty sure, is in the 90s. Good times, good times. Let's go through the woods, people. Oh. Well, what's over here, though? That's not going through the woods, though. Go to the wood. Wow. It's like. Go to the right, where you're supposed to be going, or go to the woods, where you're not supposed to be going. Maybe this is based on your life story. You ever You've gone through it. anything creepy? Yeah, lots of creepy stuff. Oh. Like Goosebumps-style creepy? 
Like, I used to go around purposely looking for things for mysteries and adventure, and usually ended up in stupid situations. Like what? Well, like, when you move to a new area, the first thing you do is you go out and explore. And right. you, like, go, like, hiding behind trees and everything, but you also kind of have to, like, be careful you don't step on neighbor's property so, you know, you don't accidentally get shot. Jesus Christ. Because, like, they don't know you yet, so if they don't know you, like... So then why wander? That's a zombie. Because it's fun. There's a creepy dude in the woods. Seems legit. It's don't fun. go there. Do not go there. Do not proceed. I really want to proceed, though. Do not engage. What if I touch him? Nope. <laughs> what if I talk to him? Uh, Wait, what's it say if I look? The guy looks to be around 30 or so, but there's something off about him. His clothes are torn, and he won't make eye contact. He's good, probably a zombie. Good, good. You know, if, if the creepy guy does not want to make eye contact with you... You notice his hair is green and kind of leafy. Maybe you're the creepy you one. You see bugs crawling around beneath his clothes. That guy's probably dead. That's He's a zombie. He's like a zombie. Yeah, let's talk to him. He grunts, he grunts unintelligibly. He's, he's a zombie, okay. Hello, good sir. Well, he's speeding at us with towards us in, in wait, human wait. speed. You take a few steps around the weird guy, but he spins on you with inhuman speed. Quick, duck. Oh, snap. Oh. Your vision blurs. Plant creature. Oh, crap. Did we just die? Oh, snap. Wait, you died? Yeah. Oh, snap. It's, it me. is... They, it is like those interactive books. They, you can die there. They told me not to go to the woods. And you went there. They said, oh. leave the guy alone. Nice. And I didn't listen. This is what happens, children. This is what happens when you go into the creepy woods and talk to the creepy old man. All right, let's try again. We can't believe you died. All right, what, hey, if we just, what if we just go back? Gloria wants to play. All right, so we're going to go over this way. All right. This is just a janitor shed. You went to the shed? By the so, time you reach the shed, the wind's picked up quite a bit. Your she your cheeks sting from the cold. All right. Watch it be like you've already messed oh, with oh, up. Oh, oh, get that. I was going to. Because then you can kill the, the, the weed monster. Nice. <laughs> the weed monster. Let's hit this. Oh. I hit, I hit a lock with my fist, and uh, we ha are bleeding. Why would you do that? I don't know, I just wanted to. You don't open things like that. If you can't open the lock, you don't just hit it with your fist? Well, well, it's covered in rust, like, I mean, I didn't know we were going to hit it with our fist. I, I think we what you needed is that weed killer. So, with that weed killer, you can probably kill the, the, yeah. All right, maybe I should take her outside. Hold on. Say bye, Oreo. Meow. <laughs> okay. Say goodbye. We Oreo. appreciate your your. We appreciate your input in the recording. Say like, comment, and subscribe in kitty language. Say like, comment, subscribe. No, that's your paw. Say like, comment, and subscribe. She's so adorable. Like, comment, subscribe. No, 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 no licking. All right, let's let's go. Let's go. You heard them, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>
Wait, no, let me put weed killer on you. I don't know how to spray him with Maybe, it. Maybe, uh, talk to him. But it said before that he gruntles. Um, all right, what if you just click the weed killer and then use it? Use it on him, yes, spray him. This is brought to you by the best weed killer that kills plant zombies. <laughs> on a hunch, yeah, of course, okay. As it hits his face, smoke, smoke rises. Huh. Oh, I've never seen that reaction come from plants. Smells like freshly cut grass. I love that smell. <laughs> oh no. Cool, so... What, what is it doing to right itself? Right or left? Oh, we have to pick? Um, right. Okay, you pick left. Why did you ask me? Because you didn't respond Some kids. Enough. Oh, this is like it. Tyler Alseth. Mind your own business, Anna. We're waiting for a crocodile to come out of here and eat us. Oh no, they're probably bullying that kid. Maybe you spray them with the weed killer. <laughs> Can you spray them? What happens if you spray them with the weed killer? We found it first. What did you find? Wait, what did they find? We found it first, get lost. See, typical kids. Now we want to know what, what they found. Maybe a frog or something. Yeah, spray them. Yep. Are you going to... <laughs> Man, you guys don't let me have any fun. I probably have to, like, find something. All right, something else to get their attention. Oh, I went to my neighborhood. An accident down the street. So many things are going wrong in this town. Jesus, what's going on? Oh, is that the moving van? Did they die? Yeah, it looks like it. No! It's all the fault of Slappy. Odds and ends, crash didn't seem to damage anything. All these things, they look like... Like... That's gonna be a rad party. Spin you don't really. It. You wind up, then spin the globe with a mighty slap. It spins and stops at Transylvania. Spooky. Cool. Why do they say that you don't use globes anymore? Why? Why wouldn't you? Don't don't question my logic. I just knew that I needed that. Is that a, what is that? A shrunken head. Open the coffin. Uh oh. What about that glowing thing? Maybe it's glowing because you need to pick it up. Oh, they said it doesn't bode well. What? It doesn't bode well with us. What kind of kid talks like that? I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you've never written out the dictionary just for fun? Yeah, I did. The whole dictionary? That's how it, no, not the whole dictionary. I would just like open up the dictionary at random places and then just memorize a, the, whatever word I found. I think I used to do that every day. Okay. Just to, like further my vocabulary. Cool. That's how I learned the word idiosyncrasy. That's cool. I don't know what that means anymore, but I did. I read out the dictionary, complete dictionary, a few times. Do, do you remember anything from the dictionary? Um, I'm not sure, but I do seem to understand words that I didn't, like, remember before, so... Idiosyncrasy is a mode of behavior or way of thought peculiar to an individual. Cool. So, if it's used in a sentence, it's... One of, his, one of his little idiosyncrasies was always preferring to be in the car first. There you go. That's the word of the day. One of my idiosyncrasies is not listening to tutorials in any game and just doing whatever I want. Wow. One of my idiosyncrasies is to... What? That's a rabbit. Yeah, I'm going to catch it. Whoa, whoa. Where did the rabbit come from? Well, that was probably what the kids were looking at. Huh. Let's pet it. It disappeared. It's a ghost rabbit. Oh, we should have talked to it. Like, hello, Mr. Rabbit? Would it's you like a carrot? Maybe you need a carrot. Why would you go? What, what kind, why are you going in the weirdest things? What? I'm just playing the game the way it's telling me to. Last time you did that, it, you died. Halfway through, we're wondering if we'll make it. You won't make it. You have the I... randomest things with you. Yeah, but I can give them a top hat. And throw the shrunken head at them. Oh, you could have just given the, the, the rabbit a top hat. Maybe it'll turn into, like, a magician. You're like, you're right, that's genius. I was planning on giving the shrunken head to a bunch of kids. That's not what I want to do. Go back. I wonder how long this game is. I wonder if it's, like, divided into chapters. What if we give him a top hat? Maybe he just needs love. I don't think so. I think he needs... I don't know, something that's not love. Cool. We found a magical tree. 
or a spooky one. Why don't you kill it with a weed killer? There's a crack. Uh, huh. Let's dig it up. All right, fine. We need some shovel or something. Can you put the? Can you give it the weed killer? Maybe it'll like shrivel up and reveal something. You think if you use an item, it'll um. What if you don't have to use an item anymore? Does it automatically delete it, like in Resident Evil? I don't know. Alright, if you go back to your neighborhood, is there anything else that... They said I can't go by there because the moving van is blocking it. I have to find another way. So I was going to go through the pipe. What if I just save? Then we'll go through the pipe. Alright. Oh, so you didn't go through the pipe because you weren't sure of it yet? You told me, why are you going through the randomest places? All right, jump. Why would I jump through a hole that looks like the ocean? I don't know. Why would you go through a woods and Why talk to a creepy little creepy dude? I don't think this is the right call. Sure it is. You're prepared. You have a shrunken head, weed killer, and I a top hat. said it sounded like the ocean. We're probably going to fall into the ocean and die. Did you die? Yeah. Jesus. Well, we didn't go through the tunnel, we just jumped through a random hole in the tunnel. Well, th this game is not forgiving at all. Well, I mean... Got it. So if it seems like you're gonna die, don't go there. Can you pick up that, whatever is that in the ground there? No. What if you throw a piece of paper, throw the paper down there? Maybe that'll tell you how deep it is, and it then you'll be says, like, nah. It sounds like the ocean. I don't know if the paper's gonna make much of a splash. Yeah, it's paper. Did you just delete your note? Yep. Can you delete other stuff? Did you need that? I don't know. <laughs> what about the book? You're gonna just... Alright. Wait, so what was the point of, of the note, then? I guess it... You just deleted your top hat. We're gonna reload. Alrighty. This is going well, people. I don't know how to reload. I'm gonna just jump through here. <laughs> Goodbye, cool world. <laughs> I don't have my top hat anymore, so there's no point in living. Well, we're nailing this. Yep. Great game, great game. Hey, you have everything back. Cool. Alright, let's go through this again. There's nothing to do in that tunnel. We didn't actually walk through the tunnel. You can actually walk through the tunnel. We get distracted oh, by you the get, stupid Oh, you can hole. walk through the tunnel? Yes. Then why didn't you do that? Because we were distracted by the big black hole. See, we never actually did this. Uh, spin it. Shoo. Let's take it. <laughs> it's better in your hands. What are you going to do with a single shoe? Did you collect weird things as a child, too? What if I reach into this? It feel says like, it looks like it's really deep. I feel like you're, you were the type of kid that did collect the weirdest things, thinking that you might actually use. I had a treasure box and a treasure bag. What'd I tell you, people? What'd what I tell I you? What I put beautiful things in. And once a year, my mom made me get rid of my hoardings. And is it this, was terrible. Is this why you have hoarding problems? I do not have hoarding problems. Well... The room full of rubber duckies begs to differ. That's not mine, that's yours. <laughs> uh, we don't have a room full of rubber duckies. That'd be kind of cool, though. No, we just have a whole bunch of ventriloquist dummies. No, I collected beads and shiny objects usually and then disinfected it and made um, jewelry out of it. Wait, what? You start to imagine a hand... What kind of weird-ass imagination does this kid go through? Did you read that? Yeah. Wait, what? We imagine a bony... Hold on, we have to read this. Okay. Maybe you'd have better luck with your foot? You stop yourself, imagining tiny piranhas nibbling your toes. Why? Oh, no. Well, they don't let me reread it. It said something about you imagine we somebody reaching out. We imagine a bony out. skeleton hand reaching out and grabbing us as the icy coolness goes up into our arm as it seems to reach out for forever. Yeah, it's totally normal. I did those type of things all the time. Wow. You know, I think I, I, I did used to write like that because when I, I, oh my God, doggy. Doesn't that look like a character from a book? Uh, yeah, uh, Goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> You have to read it in an accent. What? 
the, what the woman says. Oh, hey, that's okay. That's you now. I'm Anna. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Forster, Mrs. Forster. There was an uncomfortable silence. His town of yours. It's really quiet. What a shame if something were to start a little awake. You nailed it. <laughs> um, ask about the dog? Didn't we just ask him? Oh. <laughs> Fifi is no more dangerous than her handler, my dear. Oof, oof. Now, if you'll excuse us, Mrs. Forster and Fifi continue their walk down the- Oh, actually, she's not talking there. It was the, it was the narrator there, and I was- <laughs> We should have asked about her. Is that your mailbox or somebody yes. else's? No, it says it's mine. I needed the coupons, okay? Uh, there's always time for savings. Exactly. You should totally go next door to that really creepy house. You're positive this is your neighbor's house. The girl who lives here used to babysit you. We've had a crush on her ever since. <laughs> Relatable. Excuse what, me? What used to be my house? Relatable? You used to have a crush on your, on your nanny? I was never babysat. I was the one babysitting. And yes, I've had what? I've had little kids say that they love me. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, oh, so you were the hot nanny? No, I just got along with kids, and kids were like, "Don't." You were the me. hot I'd nanny, play. and you were the cute girl next door. Wow, weird flex, bro. But okay. I wasn't saying that, but whatever. Weird flex. Your skin crawls just standing here on the porch. You hope the neighbors haven't noticed that your house turned into a macabre mystery mansion overnight. Yeah, I'm sure no one noticed this. I mean, the red lights and everything. I would love to have gargoyles on my porch. They're kind of creepy. My aunt has them. Really? Yep, she's got like eight gargoyles outside of her house. Like, are they functional? Because they're supposed to have like... Functional gargoyles. Yeah. When it rains, it spouts out water. Oh, that's so cool. Weirdest looking things ever. They're ugly. They're so ugly. Kind of like those. They're so ugly. And they're huge. They're like three feet tall each, but they're like on top of a really tall house. Whatever. It's kind of weird. I don't know why I hang out with creepy people. You mean your aunt? Yep. I mean, I have a slappy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not creepy though. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm relatively normal. I'm just a regular guy that never puts away his uh, Halloween decorations and have had them around for years now at this point. Yeah, totally normal. Yeah. And, it's know, just the one one Halloween decoration. Right. And, and Slappy. And you made a Book of the Dead. That's different. That's a prop. Mm -hmm. That's a replica. That we keep out consistently. That's a high quality leather replica. That is now our scrapbook. You should you should you should tweet about that. Pretty proud of it. It's pretty cute. Maybe I'll put up a picture. I mean I think it's relevant, right? I'm not gonna lie, I do like it. Yeah. It's pretty big too. You giddily run up and jump into the tire. As it flies forward, you lean back, you close your eyes and can't help but shouting, Whee! That moment passes and you reluctantly lower yourself to the ground. You hold the swing until it stops moving and steps away. You know this tire swing? I had one in my backyard. And I used to love to swing on it until rain would fall on me. It was like... I like to swing really high and feel raindrops on my face. It was the weirdest thing ever. But I just remembered it because it looks like it's going to rain. How much <laughs> stuff can I take? Apparently, you have the pages of stuff that you can take. You can take all of that? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just taking everything I can take. Wow. It, uh, is this your house, by the way? No, I'm stealing other people's stuff. Jesus. No, this is my stuff. Hold it, can. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. Oh, you found it. <gasps> you found a key. Bravo, Watson, bravo. Why is it tied with a paperclip? Probably where my mom said she left it under the stoop. All right, so, you can, so this is your house? Yeah. All right. I told you it was our house, but they don't let me go around being creepy in other people's houses. All right, it's locked, but the door takes keys. So key, use, bam. It doesn't fit. What? Maybe the front door? I don't know if I ever clarified this, but I don't find you creepy. There. Aww. Yeah. That's so sweet. I don't find you creepy either. Okay. I mean, sometimes. What? Sometimes you just stare. I don't find you creepy. Sometimes I wake up and you're just staring at me. That's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> People aren't going to know what the jokes are. I mean... 
that was pretty much it. I wake up and you're staring at me. You're ridiculous. It's okay, I got used to it. You're ridiculous. Wake up and I'm like, what are you doing? You're like, shh, go back to sleep. I don't do that as much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, we got a trophy. Welcome to Dead House. By the way, sometimes we say things in joke. Sometimes. Welcome to the Miss and Mr. Gaming Channel. This is without a doubt not your house. Oh, we can smell dust and decay. That's... How do we not know where our house is? Well, I don't There's know. There's probably something we... under the rug. I know, but I didn't really want to pull that back because... Wait, shouldn't, sh should we end this episode here? Because it feels like there's stuff that's about to happen. I thought this was going to be a one-off, but maybe, maybe I'm kind of intrigued. I am too. We should at least have to make something else happen. I'm pretty sure there's different chapters. So, like, let's solve one mystery and then we'll... Are you sure? I think this is like a... Endless thing. Like a whole book. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Is Hello. that your mom? I don't think so. That'd be kind of creepy. She eyes you intently like a hawk searching for prey. Well, that's not a good sign. And to clarify, my aunt is also not creepy. The gargoyles I used to find super creepy, though. No creepiness here, folks. We're just, all in just, case, just in case my aunt is also listening. We're all just <laughs> normal people that, you know, decorate our houses with shrunken heads. It's normal stuff. Just don't look in the freezer underneath the, uh, un underneath our basement. Wait, underneath our basement? Right? So what? below the basement? That's super secret. That's super creepy. Right? What? what Do not look under our basement, people. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a Stephen King novel. Is that is that what the thing said, or is that what you said? That's what I said. Oh, wow. That seems legit. She wants me to drink. Wait, maybe I'm gonna save the game and then I'll drink the fringes. I appreciate the decor in this room. I actually like fringes. Overall? Right? Really? <laughs> yeah. I've never had prune juice. It's actually pretty good. Well, you like prunes, right? Are you like a grandma in like a young person's <laughs> body? Why? Because now it's like you're very familiar <laughs> with 1920s and 1940s at the most 1960s movies. <laughs> you eat and do things grandmas do. Are you, do you have like that Benjamin Button? No. Are you like aging backwards? No, just, no. Cause when I met you, you seemed older. Now you're, you're ridiculous. younger. You're ridiculous. I don't know. Just cause I have a baby face does not mean that I have a Benjamin Button syndrome. I feel like you're just getting younger. Thank you. I'll let you guys know what happens in a few Wrinkle years. Wrinkle stretch across your hands and arms. This is what happens when I, I just drank the prune juice here. Oh, snap. Your vision grows cloudy and a wave of exhaustion washes over you. You feel incredibly weak. Wrinkle that's, stretch across your hands and arms. That's how I feel when you You struggle to think of a way out, juice. but you're just too tired. Maybe you'll come up with an idea tomorrow. You lie on the floor ready for a nice long nap. I think we just died. Oh my god, I feel like this has happened to me before. Is that why you keep giving me prune juice? What the hell just happened? Oh. What's going on? <laughs> what is happening? We're in a haunted house. Are you a ghost now? Did you die? Yeah, we did. Did you die and now you can communicate with ghosts? Maybe. Are these the kids that were, didn't want to talk to you in the beginning? Yeah. Well. I want to hear the song, but I can't find it. He takes his foot into the carpet nervously. If I look, it'll wake mom and dad. Oh no. No sooner do you look in her direction than she starts shouting. You're not supposed to be here. Get out of my house. Strangers aren't allowed in. Go away, go away, go away. Uh, you nailed it. She glares, willing you out of existence. Can't fool me, she grumbles. <laughs> I was born on a leap year. I know things. Oh, hold up. We got a badass over here. Uh, you try to get his attention when he looks towards you. I live here, you know. I hate going into the basement. He looks away, embarrassed. After a moment, he continues. You believe me, don't you? No, maybe. Wait, so you all live in, you all lived in this house? You want a dinosaur? Oh, you have to give each one of them their toy. Maybe. Who would want the dinosaur? That's not funny. I made him sad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe give him the truck. I'm gonna say it first. Actually, I want to go back to the weird lady. Well, did this... You died, though, right? 
Yeah. So why did this trigger? Um, because I died. The vibe in here is too much. I know. I get you, bro. Sometimes it's too much vibe no, going wait, on. No, wait, go yeah? back in. This is fun. Oh, I can't go into the prune juice room, lady, anymore. So that was probably part of the story. You had to die here so you could see these kids. Wait, so we're dead? We just straight up just died. Either that or... I think you have to ki give the kids one of their Stuff, toys. yeah. I feel like I need, like, a doll for the girl. Maybe she likes the shovel. The shovel, I feel like I need to dig up the, the dirt that was underneath that tree. Nah, I think you should, you should, I think you have... Oh, yeah. Are those scratch marks? It'll be fine. Let's open that door. Huh. Watch us be getting the bad ending in all of these things. I, do you think there's multiple endings? Probably. I mean, we're kind of already dead. Prune juice is good, though. I like prune juice. That's because you're a grandma with Benjamin Button disease. Have you tried prune juice? It's actually pretty good. No. No shit, it's a toy diner. You just want to take all my stuff. Well, you can't. I locked my room. Okay, all so right, we try, have to try get the into shovel. A room. Give her the. What? We have to get into a room. How would you do that? Go upstairs and find a room. Oh, maybe I can find the creepy lady still. There you go. Immediately noticing. Wait, so you step into the dining room and spring back. Immediately noticing a woman at the table. Mom? Mom? She eyes you intently like a hawk searching for prey. Alright. I could still take my plate, right? <laughs> what? That was your plate? I took it before I died. Mom? You've never seen her before? How'd you she get lives her? here in the haunted version of your ah, house. Ah, so this is the haunted version of your house. So we're not dead. A toothy grin spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, Anna. Come give me a big kiss. So would you pronounce your name Anna or Anna? Your own name. This um, is who you are, by the way. It shouldn't take this long. The thing is that everybody says Anna, and that's how I grew up with it. But I personally prefer Anna because I feel like it sounds more elegant and... How about Anna? No. <laughs> no. But do you want to know a weird thing? Is that, but, um... Should we give her a kiss? Uh, sh you don't know her? What's the worst that could happen? You've just met her, and uh, yeah, sure. Love that sound effect. Right? We lean in to kiss her wrinkled cheek. It's clammy and loose. She smells like dust, mothballs, and some spice that you can't quite describe. Hmm. It's probably myrrh. Excuse me? It's probably myrrh. The spice that they use is probably myrrh. It gets rid of the smell from dead bodies. Myrrh, that was myrrh. frankincense. Myrrh? Yeah. Myrrh. You know that the the spices that um Oh, it's your Aunt Dahlia. Didn't you go through this already? I didn't actually talk to her. Wait, so you just drank it without talking to her? Yeah. You just saw a random random drink and you just alright, I'm just gonna drink it. Yeah. You have no idea where you are, whose drink it is. You're just like down the hatch. Demand proof. What's the password? I think you're a little old to need a password. Your mother can trust you to pick out a stranger, can't she? No, Mom said not to listen to strangers. Back away. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> you put some distance between the woman and yourself. You're a stranger. Leave me alone. Huh. What did she say? I'll be waiting here when you learn some manners. All right, so maybe you do have to trust her. People are going to be like, Loki, that's a great old lady voice. And you're going to be like, yeah, I know. It's because she's old. <laughs> that's mean. Yeah, because Anna is an old lady. I'm not an old lady. <laughs> oh my god, that portrait of a clown. I don't like clowns. Looks like it. Hey, there's something glowing. Yeah, you should probably pick that up. I don't like clowns. You don't want to hang out in this version for too long, though. Okay. I really dislike clowns. Let's take the film. Find the camera later. I think we're just like, let's play a game. That looks like an Atari. Aren't there enough video games in your life right now, Anna? Jeez, you know what? You don't, have a backlog. Don't judge us, game. Don't try to get a new system without first finishing your backlog is what I'm hearing. Well, it's too late for that. We're literally playing on a brand new system. Oh, oh, quick, uh, pick a year. 1993. We probably have to solve a puzzle and then... Probably. Can All you go right. through that door? This layout of this house feels weird. The dryer's running. What's in there? Open it. 
world ledge, okay? Oh no. Oh, that looks like a portal. Oh no. There's no response in the bathroom. No. Alright, maybe, uh, alright, there seems to be a lot of stuff going on, so maybe we should call it. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us on the Miss and Mr. Gaming channel. If you want to see what is through this really creepy portal, then like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below that you want to see what's through this creepy portal. It's Narnia. I actually really want to see what's through this portal right now. This is going to kill me. Man, time went flying by. This is already an hour. Hey guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. Have a wonderful evening, day, morning, and night. And remember, viewer beware. Beware of what? You have to say the rest. I don't... What's the tagline? It's viewer beware, you're in for a scare. Oh. And remember, viewer beware. It's not the same anymore. You're in for a scare. It's not the same. Well, I didn't know what the tagline was. Bye! Anna's a grandma. I'm not a grandma!